What is up you guys? So today is Monday, it is Labor Day, and HP is at work, which means that I've got to do some of the stuff on the van while I have some free time today. And I'm gonna be working on the wiring. So you can see it in part here, um, this wiring is like hanging down, and I'm trying to organize all of it so it's just like one clean strand. Um, you can see here that like all the wiring is in these clips. This needs to go because this is poking out too far and it's just taking up unnecessary space. So I'm gonna remove these clips. I'm gonna remove the wires to the clips and then I'm basically going to take all the wires and try to consolidate them into like one wire on each side. So one wire in the corner and then move these wires up. So basically what our goal is, is that we're going to conceal the wires so that they're easier to like work around and less like intrusive as these giant clips. wires have been rerouted and those black like clip things are all gone so this is what it looks like now I think it looks pretty good I mean I think that overall it's a uh, a cleaner look and it's more flush with the car so that's the bonus for sure uh, now I've got to do the same thing to this side so I need to take these clips out I'm gonna consolidate these wires and I'm gonna move them up exactly like I did before so just rinse and repeating at this point so after I got done with the wiring, I then had to go ahead and attempt to fix the headliner that HP and I broke in the process of uninstalling the airbags. And you can see that it's not going that well. This was my attempt at doing it by myself, but it seems as though I might need HP for this one. <laughs> later all right so now that the wiring is done it's time to start the insulation and the flooring you can see behind me that it's bare metal this needs to have insulation and a bunch of other stuff in it I'm going to let HP explain that entire process but really quickly I want to show you what we bought so we bought all of these pieces of plywood these are all half inch they are weather treated for exterior use we also bought these sheets of insulation. We have three of these. These are all an inch thick, and this is what we saw online that a lot of people were using. We also bought these two by fours over here, and um, these are, again, like pressure treated, and so these are the ones that people were using in some of the forums. We also bought these nails and two container of these liquid nails. This was actually our first Home Depot run for the van, and all in all, we spent $239.57. The two by fours were $23.72. The plywood was $159.92. The insulation was $21.52, and the screws were $9.47. And this stuff was $6.68. So I'm gonna let HP break down what we're doing with the floor and kind of what the process of that is going to look like. So we have these boards right here. These are two by fours. We're gonna cut these up into sections. Uh, these are pressure treated, so they're gonna be really firm whenever we put our plywood on top of it. We're gonna put our insulation around these boards. Now these are pretty long, but we don't need them to be very long. So we're gonna end up cutting these in small different sections, placing them throughout the area so they sit nice and flat on the van surface. And once we have these in place, we're gonna glue it with this liquid nails. We're gonna secure it down so it's not gonna move anywhere. And then by the time we go ahead and cut out our insulation with a hot knife, 
make it nice and even. That way everything is insulated. It's going to reduce a lot of noise. It's going to keep the cabin nice and insulated for uh, thermal use and everything else. You know, it's going to keep all the heat out and the cold out as well. And then once we get that all set and done, we're going to go ahead and start drilling down our plywood, which is going to be our flooring, our base for our flooring, our subflooring. And then we're going to go ahead and zip it down with these special nails right here, which is going to be the perfect amount of length to get through the board and through these subflooring joists. What's up you guys? So it is currently raining here in Dallas. You can see behind me there's Nico crying in the rain. Um, but the stud boards have been drying now for a day and a half. It was raining yesterday or else I would have checked up on them yesterday. But here they are. So let's see how these are sticking to the car. Man, it smells like glue in here. Okay, so let's see. Holy crap. Like, I cannot believe. Wow. These are like in place. Wow. I'm shocked. Um, okay, so the next step is since these are secured, I really need to go and do the rest of these because I would like to finish the flooring this week. So... That's what I'm going to try to do right now. So I didn't show this on camera since it was just the same stuff over and over again, but I went ahead yesterday and I did the last remaining weights. Um, so once again, like this is in as in can be, which is cool. So the next phase is I need to take these insulation and I need to then install it onto the floor. So I'm going to try to do that right now. it is all installed it was not to lie it was kind of a bitch to do um but uh yeah so there's still some gaps here that need to be fixed and addressed so i will kind of like fill those in with these miscellaneous pieces but 
all in all, I'm, I'm super happy with how it came out. Um, I was really hoping that I would be able to get the subfloor installed, so the piece of plywood that goes over this insulation, but I'm not gonna be able to do that today. It's Thursday, September 24th. This video is going live tomorrow, which means I've gotta get to a stopping point and just cut it for this week, edit the video and publish it so you guys can see it. So the subfloor will be done next week. Um, I will record that and publish that on next week's video along with the next step of all the other stuff. So right now I gotta clean this mess. This is the current state of my patio. I gotta clean that as well. But like always, you guys, I appreciate you watching the video. There will be another van build next week. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next video.